Hello everyone. So I have the Renaissance Loving Paths resource. Exploring the Resonance Inductive Coupler Kit. I really like this. Isn't this nice? This is very, this design of this is really beautiful. So this is something I had purchased from R-Charge, which is R and then the minus sign, right? In the middle, minus sign. And then, so R and then dash, which is the minus sign, and then charge. And I think it's .com, but if you go to Rick Friedrich YouTube channel, so this is Rick Friedrich. And if you go to Rick Friedrich's YouTube channel, you'll see a link to his website where he sells uh, what I'll call educational kits to learn about like the fundamentals of relating to electricity. Um, and I'm using my own words here. I'm paraphrasing just as I relate to what I'm seeing here. Um, this information is supposed to be all available in school. Like in, in uh, if you go to just go to school and you go to higher education and higher physics, you're going to learn some of these things or all of these things. But Rick kind of just brought it together from what's available in the past couple hundred years of education. And uh, and then I don't know if Rick himself brought this together or it's already been brought together by many other people. And then Rick just also makes it available to others uh, by putting such things together as this. So this is the Resonance Inductive Coupler Kit. And I did purchase this kit. I I, I haven't done experiments yet with like, I'm afraid of damaging things myself. <laughs> So I haven't like hooked anything up, but I did go to the Dallas, Texas, uh, uh, what I'll call, I think it was con a convention or, or I don't know what, what you call it, but it was a, a meeting where we got to meet Rick and, and there was other people there and people had brought these there and I watched people experimenting with these, uh, with these, what I, with these kits. So I did get to see what they do and, um, but I still, something I still don't know and maybe I know it and just don't realize it is when Rick says in a video, because if you watch Rick Friedrich uh, by going to his YouTube channel, if you watch his videos on his channel, he'll often uh, say the words uh, first stage process, second stage process, and third stage process. And I don't know if there's more stages than that, but because I, I don't have an image in my mind of what that is, even if I read it and looked right at it and it was explained to me and I just didn't grasp it or retain it for some reason, uh, I probably read right past it many times, right? Because I've read all these, all the books that are available, um, including the uh, Don Smith Magnetic Resonance Energy Crafting Systematic Index book. Um, and I think everything kind of sends us back to these, uh, this, these kits here. And these kits were not originally this thorough. I think originally, I don't even know if it came with anything. So again, because of public pressure, and I'm talking about the public, reaching out to Rick and saying, Rick, can you please, and just putting a lot of, I don't know if it's a lot of pressure or demanding, that Rick make available these things. They're not asking it for free. I'm sure there are some people that say, give it to us, give it to us. But obviously things cost money, so Rick can't do that. I don't know of anyone that can just give things away. But, uh, but you know, most people are willing to pay for information if it can be brought together, and that's what this is. So uh, I don't think it's excessively expensive. I think that this is very accessible. And I would say that any, that schools need to get their hands on this at the earliest uh, levels of education. Um, this is this is educational, right? This is very important information, um, and it's uh, I think it's an efficient approach to learning. But with that said, I am still trying to grasp these words and ideas. This is resonance induction coupler kit two. So this is I think that's the second kit, and I think this is the first kit. But uh, I'm still trying to grasp, working on grasping these concepts of first stage, second stage, and third stage process. So I'm making videos now that I want to talk about both who is Rick Friedrich, who is a gentleman that, that uh, a very kind man and a very intelligent man that in his biggest intelligence, it's not just what he knows about technology, it's his loving giving heart, right? The loving giving heart. And we can call that like a, maybe an emotional intelligence, which I've read is more important than IQ, right? The intelligence quotient. That the EQ, the emotion is the emotional intelligence, which a lot of people haven't heard of, and a lot of people have heard of it. But sometimes we will say, someone will say, "I haven't heard of that. Wow, how did I not know about that? How did I not know about that?" Again, education, education, and education. Bring it to school. Tell your teachers we want to learn about emotional intelligence. Uh, if parents start asking for that, and maybe it's already being taught. Oftentimes, I think emotional intelligence is taught through example. I've heard of schools doing um, conducting exercises where kids learn how to interact with other kids in settings, a safe setting, and how kids can learn how to problem solve together and work through things together. There's exercises, right? 
And um, those exercises can, can educate the emotions, educating the mind's emotions, if we say it that way. So that's, I think if Rick could have one wish come true, it wouldn't be that the world had free energy. I think it'd be that the world could have a loving, giving heart, right? So a mature, a, a, an emotional maturity. I'm using those words myself and I'm paraphrasing. So let's see what we can find in here. So here it says, um, so it says, in the unlimited open context of crafting true negative resistance by triggering sharp disruptive discharges through low resistance impedances, amplifying and reciprocating with sympathetic resonance in freely reactive multi-body dynamic networks by Rick Friedrich. That's very concise. I don't know what that means. Like I can't visualize what this is, but I've read a lot and this, I can, I can say that this sounds really good and I feel inspired to learn more. And that's how I feel when I read that because what I know is that there's something significant there, okay? That's what I do know. So let's go forward and I want to just really focus on this idea of first stage, second stage, and third stage process. And I want to see if I could find it in this book. Like, can I just learn that by reading something? Like, can, can, is there a paragraph that will say this is what the first stage process is? This is what the second stage process is or something like that you know like like just making it very clear to me the dvd is now online here so it looks like there's some dvd there uh updates to this kit oh so it looks like this is a page right here and let's see what it says it says the yellow 100 picofarad i think pf means picofarad capacitors are presently blue the price has been lowered last year because of the coils no longer have bases and the red frequency generator is no longer provided as it was not very stable. The variable mica insulated compression trimmer capacitor is now of a higher range, which gives you more options. Okay, I'm not going to read all this because I'm kind of looking for what I'm looking for right now is first stage process. I want to see if I can find that. I'm going to turn this and see Rick Friedrich, 2018. The title represents the twofold nature of this book. It is both a basic introduction to resonance related studies as presented in the first section and also an advanced resource as enlarged in the second section of the way in the way of endnotes. So whenever I read something in the past, whenever I've read something from uh, like a book or something, people have always asked me, where can I buy that? Where can I buy that? So I'm just gonna keep repeating. This can be purchased on Rick Friedrich's website and then you can look through it yourself at your own pace instead of listen, listening to me talk. And I'm also not gonna read this from front to back because this is Rick's material. Uh, even if I read it, I'm sure people, most people would still buy it. Uh, no one wants to listen to me talk, but because um, <clears throat> people want to read things at their own at their own pace, and they want to choose where they're reading, right? Resonance induction coupler kit. So yeah, this is the this is the resonance induction coupler kit. This my understanding is this is the beginning, right? This is where we begin. We begin with this, and then we then we work on this, and this teaches like the foundation, right? Now for me, I I think what I need is a classroom environment to learn this or some kind of group where I can be involved to learn the steps of going through this because when I look at this kind of stuff I just am like I don't know what all that is I mean yeah okay that looks like it's uh that's a capacitor uh what's this a resistor I don't know let me see air ground I just don't want to burn up the parts by hooking them hooking them up wrong I want to work with with someone that's that has more education than me that I could go to and say, am I doing this right? Is this the next step? Things like that. How to navigate through these sections or these instructions. Um, quality parts included. Introduction. During my years in alternative energy research. So see, Rick here is calling it alternative energy research. See, and that's a good way to use it. Uh, good words to use, right? Instead of calling it free energy alternative energy right alternative energy 
Um, during my years in alternative energy research, many people have asked me where they should start to learn about the most important and practical processes. This kit is an attempt to help people in that way. So there it is right there. We have four main learning objectives with this kit, three of which are stated. The fourth is a mystery to personally figure out. Okay, well, <laughs> I can't even figure out what's right in front of me, so I don't know if I'll be figuring the fourth one out. I think I'll need help with that. The reason it is important for each person to figure this out on their own is that there are actually several things. And the exercise in searching for these is vastly important for personal progress. While there are four main learning objectives, the one real purpose of this kit will unfold as you see how this experience opens up new life for you in more ways than one. The analogy will unlock this door for you only after you progress through this very interesting study. You will get far more in this realization than you actually hoped for. The method of teaching in this kit is the Socratic method from Socrates, who initiated his students into discovery by asking careful questions, so there will be questions asked every time you see Q about ideas and articles as a sort of homework assignment, along with experiments to, to experience. The Q will alert you to turn to the end of the book for answering the questions in the section titled Notes and Questions. Partial Truths and Mistaken Context. Okay, we're not going to read that. So that was significant right there. That helps us know a lot about what the where the book's coming from, like what it wants for us, what it hopes for us. And it seems like it hopes to for those of us that want to learn more, that it could help us do that. The thing is, because we all learn differently, and uh, I've already had this kit for many years, and I'm embarrassed to say that I still don't even know what a first stage process is. And I've read this many times, and I've read all the books I have many times, and I'm just not getting it. For some reason, I'm missing it. So what do people like myself do that are, that are not going to give up but want to learn, right? And so there's no teacher because Rick doesn't coach. He doesn't – There's there, it feels like there's no support, right? Because that's not Rick's job. Rick puts this out there, but he's not going to walk people through it all, right? He's not going to do that. In fact, he's getting out of this. He's not going to be, he's, it's, you know, he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do this. That's my understanding. He doesn't want to have anything to do with this. Not that he's against it. He's just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so, but look, you can see this is like, you know, is this the best you can get? Like, look at this. I mean, if Rick's, if this, if this paper, if this becomes unavailable someday and someone didn't get this, but you're interested in the air, the field, uh, I wouldn't want to not have it. I would want to have this. That's how I feel. Uh, most important truths waiting for you to earnestly search for them. My hope is that you will find... My hope is that you will not only benefit in realizing the hidden treasures in these electrical process, processes, but more importantly, realize that there are far more important treasures equally hidden in plain sight, that you will move on from this in equal... That you that you will move on from this in equal zeal to embrace the full potential for you in realizing the most important mysteries in life, which most people do not bother to take seriously. I mean, when I think of that, I think of reversing aging and education, <laughs> right? Because we want to live a, a long life and a long as possible life in health, right? Because that's all, reversing aging is all about, I'll read you gray, right? It's all about um, being able to uh, cure disease, really, that, like, like prevent the body from disease, getting disease, and also reverse, reverting the cells back to their, their original healthy states, which every cell has, I think, a perfect memory of being healthy in the mitochondria, if I recall correctly. So, Let's see, learning about resonance. What is special about resonance? Every object can vibrate noticeably more than it always does when pulsing it at its fundamental core vibrating frequency. I put my bell in a vacuum and may make it vibrate for hours. I have designed circuits in connection with an enterprise in 1898 for transmission of energy, which once, stated, once started would vibrate three years, and even after that, the oscillations could still be detected. 
That's very interesting. What kind of chance, what kind of change takes place between the pulse rate changing from resonance to just outside of resonance, as in question five? When these two parts are side by side and in resonance, every teacher will tell you that, <coughs> excuse me, that charges rapidly go back and forth between the coil and capacitor so that the voltage or amplitude becomes much higher between them than what is supplied by the power source. Okay, so I don't know what I just read. But maybe you know what I just read, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Electrical resonance, which has to be always observed in carrying out these experiments. Thus, when working with currents discharging disruptly, disruptively, the element chiefly to be considered is not the frequency, as a student might be apt to believe, but the rate of change per unit of time. With low frequencies in a certain measure, the same effects may be obtained as with high frequencies, provided the rate of change is sufficient sufficiently great uh, freedom to resonate experiments with resonance okay I'm still looking for stage one stage two and stage three can I just learn what that is I really want to know what that is experiment at your own risk experiments recommended under qualified supervision it says right there experiment at your own risk experiments recommended under qualified supervision so my question is where can I get qualified supervision can I go to school and major in electrical engineering and bring this kit with me and, and sit in the, like, maybe in a tutoring class and have someone work with me on this? Like, is that what I have to do, you know? I don't want to go to school to learn electrical engineering so that I can learn how to use this kit. That's not what I prefer to do. But if I have to, I, I guess I will. Series resonant circuit, parallel resonant, used to find resonant point... Neon bulb test. Okay, when we think of first stage, second stage, and third stage process, I probably passed right by it. But to me, it's mentioned, it's so, it's so significant that I would think it's going to have its own place. Like, it should be really, it should stand out, I'm thinking, right? I could be totally wrong. Uh, two series resonant. Okay, I don't know what this is. I, I think this is part of the education, but I'm just trying to find... If I can see stage one, stage two, stage three, I, that's what I'm looking for right now. Because that those words are used a lot in, in Rick Friedrich's videos. One wire energy transfer. What is the significance of one wire technology? And then it says Q. I think that means we're supposed to write the back, right? We are now ready to move from the second to third dimension. Oh, wow. I really thought he was going to say second to third stage and I got really excited. <laughs> Maybe that's what that means, though. From being confined to one room to freely move about the house. From a, sim from a simple loop to an endless matrix organism. Of course, we are limited in the parts we are using, but they will give us a feel for what we will now go over. The heart of Tesla re Tesla's research was in, the, was in this point and expressed in his one-wire transmission. It wasn't merely the novel idea of only needing one wire rather than two to transfer power. The use of the ground as a return was not new. Many people today study Tesla, fo Tesla focus on his earlier years at AC and then skip over the one wire ideas jumping into the wireless. In doing that, they fail, they fail to see that the Tesla wireless was just an extension of the one wire system and was not wireless but through the ground as the one wire air only wireless was very limited unless it was done with very high voltage to make the air a conductor we will get into that discussion in the next chapter so if it was not merely the one wire transfer that was so important in the one wire teaching was it the idea that the ground could be a one wire transfer question mark vastly important as that also was that still was not nearly as important as something deeper and that is something hidden from most people today 
It is a fundamentally different world from the electrical world we are used to today. Let's find out. How is it like and not like the internet? Q. I think that means we write in the back, right? I don't know if the answer's in the back or if we write in the back. Let's see. Let's see what the back looks like. Because it talked about the back and then I didn't I didn't look when it said that there's gonna be we're gonna be going to the back, right? Voltage, resonance, resistance, reactance, oscillation, nonlinear, negative resistance, induction, impedance, fundamental frequency, frequency generator, frequency, ether, ether, disruptive discharge, capacitance, bandwidth, amperage, amps, working glossary. Oh, there's the website, rcharge, rcharge.com. That's where you get this. That's where you can buy this yourself. I know everyone wants to buy this. And uh, you should buy it if you want to learn more. It's, if you should buy this. If you want to learn more, buy this. Let's see what this says here. Notes and questions. What role did the ether play in Tesla's understanding of electrical processes? See 1891 lecture mentioned in the second introduction section. <clears throat> It amazes me that Rick has done all this work and he doesn't even want to do this. He doesn't want to do this. He's getting out of this. He's not going to be here. I mean, he can stop any day. And who's going to carry that torch? You know, who's going to go? Who's going to carry on the work, right? So I, I, I always say there's millions of positions open, billions of positions. There's as many positions as there is people on the planet. Eight billion people can do this part time, once a year, once a month, once every couple of weeks, a couple hours a day, whatever fits your schedule. But this is something we can all do together. <clears throat> uh, what role did the ether play in Tesla's understanding of electrical processes? See 1891 lecture mentioned in the second introduction section. What is resonance? What is the purpose of resonance? What is Q or quality factor? Is it possible to use this extra power for anything? Why, sh why would a glass not noticeably vibrate when the same amount of energy is applied with a non-resonant note? That's a good question. Very good question, right? Where does the resonant amplification come from? What is the fundamental frequency of something? What would musical instruments be without resonance? When Tesla demonstrated his high-frequency systems, how were each conducted? What is so important about the rate of change in these disruptive discharge systems? Is it more efficient to have forced or free vibration? What is, is it, is it more efficient to have forced or free vibra vibration? What is a frequency generator? In the first test, why did one position not light up the bulb while others did? What is the difference between the resistor in the tank, LCR circuit, and the one on the outside? What is the significance of one wire teaching? How is it like and not like the internet? How did you keep two bodies joined while not killing the effect? What are some common analogies to free-flowing flo independent bodies in harmony? What different approach do we need to take? What are the major themes in this book? In what way does the motor circuit diagram related to figure 5 in the true wireless? What are four methods of collecting energy from one from one wire transfer what are what are four methods of collecting energy from one wire transfer what are what else is implied in relation to the great distances pertaining to figure 7 of the true wireless in tesla's comments about figure 10 in the true wireless what important hint is given how does using long wire in the one wire experiments relate to Tesla's ground transmission of power? What is a wavelength? What is the most significant thing missing from the Wikipedia entry on West resonant inductive coupling? What other mistakes can you find? Very interesting, right? So I'm still thinking about first stage, second stage, and third stage process. I don't know if we've already read about it or if I'm just missing it or what, or, but I'll keep looking for it. What's this? Hand pump, realization, 
Tesla's Earth Ground Wireless Systems Illustrated. Well, let's see if we can understand what this is saying. Um, analogy, if I can see it though. Analogy of Tesla's Earth Wave Vibration Theory. Each pulse of the pump is felt with equal force at all points of the sphere. <clears throat> Flexible spherical envelope filled with liquid or gas. G equals pressure indicator gauges, I think. Analogy, hand pump. Okay, let's see what this one says. Realization. Analogy and realization. So here at the top we see the... Okay, so instead of a hand pump, here there's this tower, I think. Tesla's wireless power for propelling ships and airplanes. The wireless light place a wire in the ground that is all. Oh, place a wire. Place a wire in the ground that is all. Oh, okay. So you place a wire in the ground and that's it. I think one, one, the wire touches one part of the bulb and then our hand touches the other part, I'm guessing. And then it lights up. I'm just guessing that's how it works, just to guess. Because I think our body acts like an antenna, right? So that's an air ground. I think we're the air ground. So we have a ground ground versus the air ground. And that's the two, that's the two parts, I guess, to make it light up. That's just my guess. Tesla's wireless transmission theory. The oscillating energy surges through the earth to every point on the globe thus electric light heat and power can be drawn at any point of the earth from a universal central station wow that's really nice tesla's earth ground wireless systems illustrated Okay, so let's go ahead and move. Let's go back one page. I'm trying not to lose this page. So let me mark this page with this book, and then I'll go back. We'll go back now. Oh, I just realized at some point my alarm's going to probably interrupt this video.